Hey guys, this is White Manga here with a new video on how to draw character emotions. For this video, we're going to focus on three emotions that's ha being happy, sad, and pleased. Now, there are like 25 e main, like, essential emotions that, uh, you know, go around the internet. It's kind of like, it's called uh, 25 essential expressions. So eventually, I'll have videos on uh, the rest. That's the other 22. But for this video, we're going to focus on the first three. That's happy, sad, and pleased. Uh, as a model, I'm going to use one of a, one of the characters from my series, Apple Black, which you can read the first four chapters free online. I'll leave links to that in the, the description below. Uh, it's available published and serialized on Saturday AM, and I'll, so I'll leave all the necessary links in the about section below. Uh, the character's name is Lily Dardanelle, and with that said, let's get into it. Okay, so as you can see, I have uh, the three heads drawn, uh, one for the happy, uh, sad, and pleased, you know, in that order. And for the first drawing, I'm going to go happy. Um, the key thing, I'll, key thing to note when drawing character expressions, again, you know, there are many ways to do all these things, so I'm just kind of giving you guys my experience and my knowledge, my tips on how I go about these things. So I have the cross lines, kind of like guidelines for the face where I know the nose is going to be facing and then the uh, the eyes are going to face as well. So here I'm just putting in the nose because uh, the nose moves with the face but not as much as uh, the others like with the mouth and the eyes those are the main things used to convey expressions. So the nose sometimes depending on the expression itself, sometimes depending on the character, so there are, some characters are more expressive. Uh, than others. Uh, I think Lily here is expressive enough, and I, you know, that's what, one of the reasons why um, uh, I think she has a wide range of expressions. So one of the reasons why I chose her. Um, so yeah, we're going in there. Uh, so first one's drawing happy. So you know, happy. You always want to want to draw, going to want to draw a smile. Uh, it, usually, uh, it could be a smile. It could be a laugh. The smile could be huge. It could be really wide. But you know, you want to draw expressions that fit the character uh, character itself. Now, while Lily is expressive, she's not. She's usually not that expressive. Uh, expressive. It depends on the. It depends on the situation. And in this case, I decided to go with a little something a little bit more uh, subtle. Uh, so we have her eyes open. I also give another version of drawing uh, Lily happy in a in a few minutes. But um, so I'm going in with the eyes. Just normal, giving her uh, thick eyebrows and having the eyelashes go upwards for the eyelash the lashes on top and the ones at the bottom just slightly just a few dot uh, dashes pointing downwards. Decided to redraw the nose. Don't be afraid to use the eraser. There are some times that I'll do an ex uh, an expression where the character showing emotion and I feel maybe I didn't nail it as much as I, as well as I wanted to, and I end up redrawing it or erasing and fixing whatever you need to fix. So basically, if you have an eraser, don't be afraid of the eraser. Don't be afraid to fix anything you want to fix. Um, Y'all might have seen that and not you know not felt that there was anything wrong with it, but yeah, I I wanted to tweak it a bit. Not that it was wrong. So with the smile, you kind of want to have that, again, it's like a smiley face. So the, the mouth overall, it has an organic feel, but at the end of the day, it's curving uh, from the left to right or right to left, but it's like it has that down curve, right? Uh, kind of indicating that smile. Here we have her mouth open, and I'm drawing, showing a little teeth at the top by not, you know, shading her whole mouth, just black. Uh, kind of leaving that, you know, leaving things at the top. Uh, then, so with the eyes, the powerful thing is, uh, to me, the most one of the most important ones is, is the eyebrow. So here, our eyebrows are, you know, really high up, and um, they're not, you know, if you want to do something angry, you have them like bent really closer, closer to the eye, and kind of going uh, as the eyebrows meet in the middle they're kind of like pointing downwards in a way and you know that's kind of not what you want to do here sometimes a character might be happy uh, and uh, have that expression but it, it, again it depends on the character uh, you draw a character like this happy it doesn't essentially mean that all other characters in that series smile the same way or frown the same way uh, things are different yeah, so stuff like this this challenge is this uh, 25 essential ways of drawing, uh, 25 essential expressions 
it's kind of like a challenge where you draw your you pick a character and you draw the character in all those 25 expressions and sometimes it kind of helps to help the artist get used to drawing the character from memory um, so here we're drawing the eyes and uh, I'm you get to see in this case with her you get to see the eyeball a whole lot more uh, there are cases where you have a character with lazy eyes and you don't you know you only get to see like half of it uh, but in this case she's a very uplifting uh, light character so we get to see most of her eye uh, most of the eyeball um, again it's, di it's, it's different in several cases so that's you know what I want to keep in mind another thing to keep in mind is that this is my style you might see another uh, another artist take take on this challenge uh, this 25 essential ways of drawing expression ch challenge and the way they have their character smiling is going to be much much different from the way I have mine you know and you know this is pretty much it for the most part we have her eyes really wide open, her eyebrows kind of high up, um, kind of also giving that uh, curve, but in the opposite direction, uh, like the opposite way the mouth is. Uh, it's almost like the eyebrows are kind of doing a frowny face in a way, but that's just her kind of like widening her eyes a little bit more. Um, again, it's not too much where her eyes are really wide open and she thought her smile is wide and big. There might be a different character who would kind of be like that, where you'll see a whole lot more teeth and you see a whole lot more eyes and they'll, they'll, they'll be kind of more expressive. Um, but one thing to keep in mind is your char the character itself, uh, whether, whether that fits. Now for her eyes here, we're just doing similar to her eyebrows. But now we're just doing it with her eyes, and you, all you need to do is draw the, the thick eyelashes. And unlike before, where you have the eyelashes, you have the the dashes going up, and then for the the lashes down, you have dashes going down. When she's smiling like this, and her you have her eyes kind of again doing that uh, frowny face, right? Uh, you just you only draw the lashes going up, and that's it. And that's it, guys. Uh, this is Lily Dardanelle. Happy. So moving on to the next one. This was a little bit more challenging, uh, drawing her sad, mainly because I was drawing from an anti view. Uh, for this drawing, drawing her sad, I wanted to kind of depict her looking downwards. Um, in maybe some kind of retrospect where she's not really looking at anything she's just sad and her eyes are like down you're looking down and that's really all I wanted to do here and then you just have her mouth be a little more a little almost doing nothing just closed it's, it's just very sad and calm that's what I was going for here but at the same time again depending on the character even her depending on the situation because you know sometimes you're you're sadder in, in some situations than others uh, so there are other situations where you know her, you know her mouth might be a little more comical and or, or more wavy, almost like she's about to cry and things like that. But you know, I for, for here for this situation, I went uh, with a calmer approach. And what I'm trying to do is have her eyes be really thin, almost like she's about to close them, but not. And then you draw have drawing the eyeballs like the the pupil. Um, we're not gonna see the top of the ball and we're not gonna see the bottom and you see what I mean in a second it's almost like um, she's looking down and her, her eyes are you know almost closed here she's not really is looking down as much uh, there'll be a, again a second version where uh, that will be more evident um, her eyebrows here are doing a little thing where as they meet in that middle like they're kind of going upwards um, while the rest of the eyebrows you know acting normal but as they come close is like is almost going upwards right um, it has that uh, curve the eyebrow kinda has that slight curve again some styles some characters are more expressive than others so in this case we're going a little more calm again but the eyebrows kinda have that curve where it's not it's not like a full-on curve uh, like a frowny face or a, it's more 
half <laughs> half uh at, for instance like her eyebrow on the left is kind of like almost doing the curve like a frowny face and then it does a smiley face as it goes you know towards the other eyebrow in the middle hopefully you guys understand what I'm saying uh, so here again so putting in those eyes because the eyes and the eyebrows and the, and the mouth those are you know those are the money makers those are the big deals so here you know you we have the eyes like we're not seeing the top and we're not seeing the bottom again you have you add those lashes I add the lashes Main, uh, especially when it's uh, when it's a female, uh, fem not, not necessarily a female, but just someone feminine, uh, or someone, yeah, someone feminine who has those lashes. That's when you add them in. If the character has the lashes, then you know this is that's that's how you like put put it in. So here, her eyes are not. You, you don't get to see like the bottom, and you don't get to see the top of it. You just see the middle. And then we I put a little. I almost subtle eye bags kind of thing not not necessarily eye bags but just to suggest a little stress uh, in her eye uh, in, in not necessarily stress because I feel like that's a different thing but just to add more you know oomph to her eyes I'll do a second version here where I'll erase this erase this now I'll have the eyes do eyes curve like a smiley face in a sec, uh, just subtly. Again, you don't want to you don't want to be too, if it's too. You have basically just have to be careful when you're doing. Um, that's what makes this one challenging is from the angle that I'm drawing her. Because she's kind of like looking down, and the camera itself, the shot where we're looking from, is also kind of. Is also kind of uh, from below. Anyways, so she's looking down here clearly. That's that's, uh, that's what I'm trying to convey with the kind of like a smiley face eyes. But uh, at the top, I give uh, her lashes more volume. Spe uh, basically, that's kind of like my uh, go-to when I'm drawing females for the most part. Again, we do the same thing as before when we're drawing the eyes, but now it looks more like she's looking down. Before she just you know she could have been looking straight ahead, but you know we we had the eyes kind of thin. Um, but here it looks more likely uh, more like she's looking down because of that you know smiley face eye thing. There are other things wrong with this drawing. Uh, I think the ear on the uh, on our left, her right ear, is not exactly positioned correctly. But again. Um, and again, looking from below, her hair kind of has more volume where it shouldn't be, where it shouldn't have. And uh, you know, as we go forward in the drawing, uh, you will see me fix all of this. So it's part of uh, I have a video that kind of focuses on um, how to improve your drawings, and you know, subtle things like this when you kind of step back and look at the drawing all over again, and you find little things that can be fixed. You know. And with time, you kind of have to learn to to find your errors and, and fix them. As you can see, uh, I fixed the ears just a little bit. And I'll eventually fix the, fix the hair. But uh, for the most part, when it comes to the emotion of like, you know, looking sad and everything, I think this is pretty, this is pretty decent. I'll have other videos, you know, tackling all the other 20, 22 expressions uh, you know they got like sad flirty no the, well we're doing sad right now but like flirty um, let me see scared you know etc we'll get to it and you know for this character that's how she looks sad um, you kind of have to know your character get comfortable with your character and kind of uh, get a good feel of how they how they would look uh, for certain expressions. It's not everyone is gonna look the same you know, Lily here is kind of like a warm heart uh, hearted character, so it's kind of easy uh, For you know for some things to just uh, Come up with expressions for her, but uh, you know you can have like different characters. They're not going to have the same look I mean uh, if someone like a Like a Ken Pachi now if he looks sad he wouldn't look this sad the same way. You mean hell? His own version of looking sad 
might be something completely off. So that's you know that's something to think about. Here, drawing the characters for you know just pleased, and you know that's usually her regular look. She's usually pleased and uh, positive, sometimes in a comical way. Uh, with Apple Black Volume Two, we're kind of going to explore her character just a little bit more. Uh, so here we're drawing most of most of her eyeballs and having a little highlights there and it, uh, leaving like that ball kind of indicating highlights uh, Doing the same thing for the other side. I always have that dot in the middle of the eye and uh, That's that's her we just have a smile here, right and uh, Again her the way I draw mouths here is kind of like a little curvy where it, it, at the end of the day, overall, it's having that smiley face thing going from like curving downwards, but uh, it curves back up and down again in the like in the middle of the mouth, just to make it look more like an actual mouth. But here we have the eyebrows, just again doing like a frowny face at the top, not too high like when she was happy, but you know just a decent distance. And we have her eyes wide open, not not to the fullest. But like just decent, like like she's kind of looking normally pleased here, um, and yeah, that that's pretty much it for this. Again, subtle things in the rest of the drawing that I'll fix as the video goes on. And yeah, guys, these are the first three expressions that um, that I'm working with. And uh, for the next video, we'll go to the next three. Well, it might not be the next video. Uh, for the next video, I might do something different, but I'll get back to drawing these expressions, and then we will explore uh, expressions that we haven't, at least the ones we haven't yet, that are on the 25 essential expressions. Uh, it's kind of like a 25 essential expression challenge, and once I'm done, I'll kind of put everything together and show you guys. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys like this video, please leave a comment if you have any questions. Check out Apple Black. Uh, volume 1 is available with all for all 9 chapters. You can read the first 4 chapters free on Saturday AM. What Saturday AM is, I'll leave links to that as well. All my social media, everything you could possibly need from me is in the About section below. Please subscribe if you liked this video. Uh, there is more of it to come. You can check out all my other videos. And you can leave ideas for uh, uh, videos you want to see in the future. Uh, bear in mind, you might want to check the channel first if I haven't done the video already. So yeah, that's it, guys. Uh, this is White Manga, and I'm outie.